Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of my channel Gamepad Gaming. So Super Mario Maker 2 is one of my favorite games, but sometimes there are levels that aren't as good as others. Today I want to show how to make a good level. In this video we are going to focus on traditional levels. But what is a traditional level? This is a traditional level. This is a traditional level. And this is also a traditional level. So, what do these three different levels have in common? First of all, they all have one or two key elements. Key elements are very important. This level is called Link in the Off Mountain. The key elements are the Link Power Up and the On Off Blocks. Link needs to hit the On Off Blocks in different ways so he can climb the peak. He needs his sword, his arrow, and his bombs. The level is also a bit like a puzzle. Let's get to the level Lemmy's Sky Palace. The key elements here are the bumpers and the bullet bill blasters. In this level Mario needs to jump on the bumpers while also dodging the bullet builds. Now let's talk about a level that's a bit more traditional. The Rainbow Planet. Koopa Troopers and Piranha Plants are the key elements here. So, we can see that every level has some key elements that form the main part of the level. But there are also some other elements that help to bring out the key elements. Let's call them secondary elements. In the level Link in the and Off Mountain, Snow Pokies and Spikes are the secondary elements. If Link climbs the mountain, he often has to face them so he can move on and reach the on-off block. In Lemmy's Sky Palace, there is a tanuki leaf to help us getting through the level. It makes landing on the bumpers easier, but only if we are managing to keep the power up. Let's ignore the boss fight for now. I'm gonna do a separate video about boss fights. In the level, the Rainbow Planet, there is also a power up to help us. The Cape Feather. With the help of this item we can hurt piranha plants now. We can also get some rewards if we keep it. And that leads us to the next important thing. Traditional level needs coins and rewards. Place coins everywhere. Okay, not everywhere. But put them on places where they look good. Or indicate where to jump. You can also put them in secret areas because everyone likes collecting shiny coins. Other rewards to put in secret areas are items and 1-up mushrooms of course. Here you're getting rewarded with a cape feather if you throw a Koopa Trooper shell. Or you can get a 1-up if you throw it here. If you place a pipe it should be obvious for the player that there is a secret. Put it in a special looking place, or use some coins to show that you can enter it. You can also reward a player for exploring your level. Personally, I like using 30 coins, but it's up to you what you want to use. If it's a small secret, place a few coins. If it's a bigger secret, place some more coins or a 1-up. With all the rewards, what if the person who plays your level is someone who doesn't like exploring secrets, but likes to speedrun levels? In this example, I put an on-off block here, so casual players and speedrun players both enjoy playing the level. Some players are doing it this way. They hit the on-off block with the sword and climb up again to proceed. Other players can hit the on-off block the arrow to continue directly climbing up the mountain. 
So, you see, traditional levels should be enjoyable for different types of players. We're not done yet. There's another very important aspect. The place where the level takes place. If it's either a snowy mountain, a sky palace, a rainbow planet, or something completely different, you should always decorate the level with the matching decorations. On the on-off mountain, we use ice blocks solid blocks, icicles and these semi-solids to show that it's cold on the mountain but also to give the player the feeling that climbing up the mountain is very tedious so they feel proud when they reach the peak. Here we use semi-solids in the sky theme to show that this is Lemmy Sky Palace. We don't use any ceiling because the player should feel free up in the sky while bouncing. On the rainbow planet, we use rainbow semi-solids, of course. The player also feels free because there is no ceiling. Until this part, where the player gets constricted by the threatening piranha plants. So you see, you need to play with the player's emotions and change the atmosphere to awake a certain emotion. And now, let's look closer to the individual levels, so we can talk about some smaller aspects that are also very important. Here we are, at the foot of the on-off mountain. We already talked about speedrun strats in this level, so let's talk about the proportions of the key elements and secondary elements. Here we have some enemies. After that, we have the on-off block. Then, we have some more on-off blocks. And now we have enemies again, and so on. What I want to say is that the amount of key elements and secondary elements should be balanced. Moreover, checkpoints are relevant. If your level is long, you definitely need some checkpoints. I don't know any player who doesn't like checkpoints. Checkpoints need to be in your level, so nobody needs to redo everything. Like I said earlier, Link and the on-off mountain has some sections that feel more like a puzzle. But that doesn't mean that this level is not traditional anymore. It still is. At the end of a traditional level, you should use one of the key elements. Here we used an on-off block as a small bonus to reward the player with the top of the flagpole. The next level we analyze is Lemmy Sky Palace. Directly at the beginning, we put a bonsai bill at the top of the level. Why did we do that, you ask? Because we are warning the player with this about the other bonsai builds or bullet builds. Here we also see that we combine bullet build blasters with springs to make them as bouncy as the bumpers are. Like in Link and the Off Mountain, we are using a key element at the end to remind the player about the whole fun and bouncy adventure he just had. The last level we are taking a closer look is the Rainbow Planet. Like I already said, we are using rainbow semi-solids, but we also have low gravity. So you see the level name should always fit to the level design choices. A small detail about this level is that I used Super Mario Galaxy music. But not only because this takes place in space, but also because this music makes you feel like you're on an adventure. Bonus areas only feel like bonus areas if you're using bonus music. Here we exit the bonus pipe. Make sure that the player doesn't fall into pits. Make clear where to land with coins and arrows. You also can see that I placed the checkpoint right here before the dangerous piranha plant part. The items and enemies should be balanced. Keep in mind to make fair levels. Nobody likes unfair levels. Now we have a small challenge. The player needs to throw the shell so he can get the 30 coin. After that we can end the level.
I hope I could help some of you to improve your levels. If you want to play the levels I was showing today, check out the description below. If you like my video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching everyone, until next time, goodbye.